Hey everybody, I'm Nigger here and welcome back to Blazing Beaks, the game that I continue to suck at. I mean, that's pretty much what it feels like. Uh, mostly I just make bad decisions. If I were to tone it down, I wonder if I would do okay. Nope, no secret room here. Do you get quite a bit of money though? No relics, but no early relics isn't particularly uncommon. Now that's a bad one. Holy crap. I mean, it's early enough that I need to try it. These, yeah, reduces some stat every single four, which means that I'm going to be losing twice as many stats. Still no secret room. First time I take damage, things get cloned. We're running really high on stuff right now, which could be good, could be bad. So I know there's a frog there. I think you're guaranteed at least one shop before you reach the end of the, the level. I don't know if that's true, but it looks like we're mostly getting speed downs. I'm gonna take the secret room because I'll eventually get another keyed door. Oh my god, the secret room counts as an extra thing. And that was such a waste. Alright. There we go. That is our rescue. I have once again, well, I shouldn't say once again. I have, for once, I suppose that's actually more accurate, not been punished for my bad decisions. Let me out. Please let me out. Increase damage, taking damage. 10%. Max HP. That's a lot of good stuff. That's a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna take this, even though I don't love it as a weapon. I forget which one that is. Is this only one weapon? Yeah. Fine, we got a decent weapon right now, so I'm not terribly concerned. We are very clearly doing a lot of damage. Nope, don't see any secret doors. Time to go kill Newt. That might be three rounds. Nope. 
Nope, it's gonna be four rounds. Really close though. Oh man, if we buy all three weapons, we will get two max HP. If I don't get anything that's actually like legitimately money related, that might be worth doing. Taking damage means we can't fire. I don't generally take a lot of damage. Like, not consistently. Oh, well, this is going to be interesting. Usually I pick up relics that screw me over. And they all just kind of went poof. Very scarcely populated level. And we're getting handed money pretty readily. But we are definitely lacking in relics, it feels. There we go, that's a good one. So we get hit. Oh, no coin or key drops. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I feel better now. It's like maybe I shouldn't pick that one up because money is always good. The key drops I can live without. But the coin drops are pretty important. I love how the body's just sitting in front of the door. not be charged. Okay, that actually makes going after all three weapon slots very attractive. Okay, that's a lower damage. Considering their damage is pretty insane, I think we'll be okay. I have to be really careful about a hot coin. Picking it up now that I've got the magnetism thing. That was not what I intended. I wanted to run into one of those guys and not get myself shot up. Cloning has occurred. Okay, the ghost I don't mind. We don't have anything that impairs our ability. Ooh, to handle the ghost, so. What's this one again? Ooh, that one could be a little rough. Yeah, I saw the ghost there. Oops. 
Get some really good items out of this, but... I don't know if that insta-kills you when it touches you, but I'd rather not find out. Okay, the ghost could be pretty annoying here as well. Well, that was super dangerous. Fuck. I'm a little upset about that. That was a really good run. Uh, the the range down screwed us. Hey, we just unlocked this. Oh Jesus. I mean, I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna see how much it kills me, but... Okay, or I'm gonna accidentally go through instead of picking it up. I'm actually a little upset about that. Actually, I am a, more than a little upset about that. I don't know if, there's, if the relic RNG would be the same or not, but I feel like I've missed out on a relic. Holy shit explosions. It's almost worth hitting an explosion. Like, Relic RNG, I feel like it's a thing. Like, you're only really allowed. I use that term very lightly. To get so many. Right, I can't shoot for five seconds after taking damage after all of that. That crutch looked like it would have been really interesting, and by really interesting, I mean it would have hurt. I just got handed it, so I might as well go for it. I was very confused for a second there. Keys, right? Now's when I'm gonna run into keys, of course, but there's so many frogs here. We yep, we're all the way up to five on the last time, so Yeah, of course. Another key. Okay. No, that's the zap. Is it? Small crystal gun. I like I like the crystal guns. If we take damage, we drop our coins. 
speaking of. Does good damage though. Really good damage. And the chain isn't half bad either. Can't take damage if we use our active. It doesn't fire very fast, so it's not going to do a ton of damage to bosses, but... Ooh, there's death. Contact damage now kills me. I actually don't know which enemies do and don't have contact damage. I actually think I should have died because I think I touched a frog. I don't really know how that works. Alright, boss time no matter what. The upside is that this part of, of the boss will be trivial. Yeah, it'll be four rounds, maybe five. See, taking damage deals damage, although it'll likely kill us. I don't actually recognize the scythe. Okay, no bushes. I'm actually okay with no bushes. Wow, that's empty. I like how it actually shows you where the bushes would have been. Ooh. Ended up working out. Set the medium. Purple Blaster. Let's double our coins. It's the zip. I think I'm sticking with what I got. We did just double our money though, which is really nice. Hey look, it's the worst relic in the freaking game, or art, whatever it is. It's not allowed to pick up artifacts. Ow. 
And I'm taking the secret room. Just have to really hope that we don't get any of the screw. Oh, this is the black hole gun, isn't it? Yeah, I'm taking it even though I shouldn't. Yeah, this thing's crazy, did I mention. I actually don't think I've ever had it. The Alright, I should be dead, but I'm not, because invincibility frames. And that was brutally efficient. But if I get the chance to change guns, I'm probably gonna do it. I think I think this actually might be the first time I've taken it, but I had just seen others take it. There's a very good chance that I do not survive this. I that was bad. That was really bad. I got hit by the arcing in shot and I didn't see it coming. I'm actually amazed I picked up that coin without getting hit. Get bigger, go home. Something, something, something who's got guts. We're off to a beautiful, beautiful, ridiculous start. Oh, it is open. I was just like, where's the last frog? Clearly it's a frog. Oh my gosh, I got caught on the frickin' wall. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. It's one damage. There's so many explosions and other shit going on. Cuts fade times. Getting lots of clones. Let's go through the way that doesn't have the spikes. Oh my gosh. That is brutal. Down another 
I don't know if those stack to 80% or if it's 40% or 40%. That said, I believe this is totally doable. These levels are easy. And we're gonna have a lot of stuff working for us here. Well, we got up to five again. Uh, I don't think I want any of those guns is the problem. Okay, we want to collect money. We want to not take damage during boss fights. We'll get extra loot. If we don't take damage. I think we cannot take damage during this fight. I believe that. Newt is not a terribly difficult boss. It'll be four rounds, probably. It's Greece. Wait, did I take damage somewhere in there? Oh, that was plus one max HP if you don't take damage during the fight. Also, yeah, Greece is horrible, and I'm going to hate it, but... This is like the pre Like, if you were to not pick up any artifacts, I wonder how well this would go for you. I feel like that should be an experiment for like a baseline because you can still pick up money you can still get relics like, I feel like that's true don't know but like these these places can have stuff yeah, like, I'm not going to take that, but I could. This is now hearts explode when they are left behind. So you gotta be careful. You <laughs> gotta be real careful. Upgrade guns. Oh right, those are gonna explode, so I should leave them be. What's that? Oh, the acid gun? If I get acid immunity, I'll do it. Oh god, I'm going base gun for even longer. Actually, I have a chance to go look for more, or for another gun, so there's that, which is really good. Hmm. 
Okay, much better. I mean, the acid gun is tempting, although that acid did fade very quickly. <sighs> Fine. I think I would have rather had that, but whatever. This isn't a bad gun, but it doesn't. It's not explicitly a good gun either. Because any ghost statues, I'm gonna freaking set off like nobody's business. Good thing I didn't pick this up just yet. Yeah, like, I'm gonna set off this statue like every second. Like those those statues are my biggest nemesis here. Remember that that heart is going to explode. Basically, we engage everything the second... The second that I engage, I engage everything. We take damage, we lose everything. Cool. Time to lose everything. not understand the fucking chaos that is currently ensuing because I will tell you right now it is fucking chaos but unfortunately this also doesn't deal very much damage to the boss I probably should have just skipped this gun this is gonna take six rounds yeah, it'll probably only take five, because the longer... We get more time as time goes on. Nope, nope, one more. Nice part is we don't have any more statues after this. Oh, I can make this mistake. I can't currently pick up hearts, is the only downside. So let's move and speed down. Like, this isn't bad. My fire rate is now down. Shit. 
Well, there goes that. Now I can make this mistake too. Slime is a bad choice almost always. Yeah, this, this gun I'm not a huge fan of. Like, it has its moments because it does create this ungodly chaos. But, man, that, that chaos is not always welcome. There's also a really big problem. Um, with this one and the one that loses you all your money. you miss a single coin because it can generate those coins basically in the middle of the worst places. So we lost about five threat. Um, I'm going to be taking, oh god, I don't want the rail gun. The rail gun's really bad for this boss. Oh god, I'm making this mistake. I don't know. I actually think this will stand up decently well against the boss of this area, but I also am kind of scared of it. And what crazy bullshit it might do. We lose risk value when we take damage. That's probably not good. Holy crap. That actually worked out really well. Maybe there's something to this one after all. And it does a lot of damage with that main projectile. And actually, it would be good against... Oh god, it would be good against the boss on this floor too. That stupid worm that just spawns things out the ass. I mean, actually, probably quite literally, weirdly enough. Oh, that was close. I almost hit, took that hit. Plus, we're getting a, a damage boost. Oh. Oh, the zigzag. I remember the zigzag. The zigzag was neat, actually. Okay. That's fine. 
the plus 10 coins is actually probably the most valuable of that, I think. Plus, it sort of neutralizes our special abilities downside. Because it, it is just sucking in and destroying things. Including things that would be, uh, like, cloned. Oops. Definitely got hit there. It does add its own little level of chaos here. I wonder if it affects the ghost. Okay, it doesn't appear to be affecting the ghost, although for a second I thought that side projectile was the ghost in my peripheral vision. I didn't actually take damage. Thank you, helmet. I saw the sand. Well, that was a waste of time. You can actually do the thing where you aim past stuff. I do not know where my ghost friend is, and I'm slightly concerned for my well-being now. There he is. Just kind of got to check, since it's, you know, so friggin' dark in here. Oof, that was a lot of damage, Jesus. Oh my god, I... I'm really mad. I'm really upset. Because I went to loop in a circle around the ghost and I hit the lamp because for some reason I didn't peg the light source as something I could collide with. That is very disappointing. Alright, well, uh, that's, uh, that's a good place for us to stop then. Uh, you know. That was a good run, that was such a good run. Okay, I do, I do appreciate the black hole gun a little bit more than I did before I think so I'll take that as <laughs> I'll take that as as like uh, my positive trend uh, for, for for this run is that the black hole gun is actually probably a little bit better than I've been been thinking it is though it definitely does cause quite a bit of chaos but it is one hell of a boss killer so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode I will see you next time and until then keep your